What would you expect world leaders to do at the UNGA? Banging the shoe on the table would not be one of the choices. Yet it happened on the 12th of October 1960. Nikita Khrushchev, the then president of the Soviet Union, did exactly that. What made the former strongman of Soviet Union so angry? Philippines spoke about the atrocities of the communist dictatorship. But still, banging the shoe is taking it a bit too far. If Khrushchev chose to react to criticism in extreme fashion this millennium, Hugo Chavez of Venezuela set new benchmarks. Ayer estuvo el diablo aquí. Yesterday the devil was here, right here. En este mismo lugar, huele it smells of sulfur, this podium from where I'm speaking. Yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, from this same place, the president of the United States, who I call the devil, came here speaking as the owner of the world. Chavez, the then president of Venezuela, smelled sulfur because Bush, the devil, addressed the UN. Chavez also compared Bush's speech to Alfred Hitchcock's movies and gave a little title to Bush's speech, The Devil's Recipe. If Chavez called the former US President Bush devil, then Libya's former President Gaddafi termed the UN Security Council the Terror Council. That too, in his first appearance at the UN in 2009. Our president of the Security Council is security feudalism political feudalism for those with permanent seats protected by them and used against us. It should be called the, not the Security Council, but the Terror Council. Clearly the General Assembly is a venue for controversial props. Just ask Benjamin Netanyahu who illustrated the Iran nuclear threat. And this report won't be complete without Donald Trump. Accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. Should the General Assembly of United Nations be used to make such extreme remarks, statements that could jeopardize global peace? We leave that for you to ponder upon. We report We On World Is One. We On World Is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.